Chicago leading by 10. On the floor for Boston. Zeller is out there with Whiteside. Then it's Damari Carroll. Then it's Isaiah Thomas. And it's Hunter in at the two guard. Freak kicks to Dragic. Offensive rebound. Boston's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. And Thomas, here we go. Zeller up top. Carroll kicks to Zeller. Right side of screen. Five on the clock. Thomas outside. Rejected by Gasol. And stolen by Zeller. He kicks to Thomas. Launches a three. Rebound by the Bulls. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, and as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Shoots the three. And that one's good, Hunter. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. Here's Freak. A nice job to get the runner to go. And the Bulls lead by 12. Well, he scored over half of their points so far. That's a major contribution. Outside Thomas. Kicks to Zeller. Six on the shot clock. Second chance shot. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. They get Paul Gasol. Take a look at what Hassan Whiteside's done. He's got 10 rebounds, and he's rejected more than his share of shots today. An interior defense at its best, fellas. That's what we've seen out of him today. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for... Celtics trail by three. And here is Thomas. Pass to Zeller. And he slams it one-handed. Really nice dime dropping there. Playmaking ability is exactly what you get from Isaiah Thomas. Here's Freak. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Carroll. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. The shot by Butler, nobody around. Another three for Chicago. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Now Thomas hit by Zeller. And Thomas, here we go. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Tyler Zeller. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. Thomas with the ball. Butler covering. Double team on Thomas. Zeller dishes to Carroll to tie it up. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Noah's got four rebounds in this game. Right side Gasol goes up on the wing. Cannot hit. And it's Boston the other way. Outside Thomas. To the middle. Here's Zeller. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Chicago has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Freak passes to Noah. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. There is just no way, Clark, to tell who is going to pull this one out. You know what, Kevin? I think um, looking at this game, it may very well come down to one crucial key play. 
Clark, that's a great point. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. That drops 15 points for Isaiah Thomas. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense is giving him. He's been a key contributor for them in this quarter. This is not the slam dunk contest. You don't get do-over. You got to finish the job. To take the lead, and it's good on the way up. Thomas. Got 11 points in the quarter. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Free kicks to Buck. And again, no good by Chicago. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Hunter. Rebound by the Bulls. Butler's got six rebounds here tonight. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. It's Freak, top of the key. The feed to Noah. Dudley is just a freak. Down low, puts it up from 12, and there's Jokey Noah on the assist by Freak. Freak's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Here's Hunter. The dish now to Thomas. He feeds it to Zeller, passes it to Hunter, fires it up. And too long on the shot. Into the Bulls. Uh, you know, shooting curl around the fourth. Uh, around 48%. There's Freak. And the foul called on Freak. That's his fifth foul. Boy, it's been a tough go in terms of fouls for him. I mean, my goodness, he can't stay out of the way of fouls. sideline with Doris Burke. Hey guys, well Brad Stevens had some advice for the team over that last break. He was riding them pretty hard for the number of silly fouls they've committed in this game. He said, listen, we need to have some defensive discipline. Stop biting on the shot fakes, stop reaching in, and stop giving them free points at the free throw line. We'll see if they'll respond, guys. And there's the defensive three-second call. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. When you get a gift like that, you have to take it. That could prove to be a big point for him. Here's Thomas. And he banks in the layup. Thomas got 13 points in the second half. A very impressive fourth quarter from him so far. He's knocked down five of seven from the floor. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. There's Freak. It's hauled in by Thomas. Now, nice work there to contest the finish inside. You know, they got the shot they wanted, but his defense, I mean, deterred them from those playing. Yeah, showing some strength in the paint there. Tough, tough rebound. Butler kicks to Freak. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. They'll shoot two. They get Hassan Whiteside. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. He hits both from the strike. In a crucial spot, he is always so solid at the line. He rarely wastes those opportunities. Here's Hunter outside Thomas. 107 left in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. Well, close to picking that one off. Still a nice play to make sure that pass didn't reach its target. Here's Zeller. Just five to shoot. Connects! He's really done a nice job taking advantage of his opportunities in this half. There's Freak. Oh, oh wow. Beautiful jam. As clutch.
such a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, gutsy. Thomas up top, defended by Butler. Thomas goes in. Money! And what a gutty play. I mean, muscles his way to the rebound and then just pounds it home for the putback. Well said, Jay. The battle on the boards, Clark, could go a long way toward deciding this game. You know, and if that play is any indication, that's a battle they're willing to put every ounce of their energy into winning. And it's still within reach. But they have to be really close to perfect from here on out. I mean, they have to get their offense right on target, right on point, immediately. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Way up and over the big guy. And what a time in the ball game to make it happen. Hunter, the pass to Whiteside. Stolen by Noah. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Yes! Big bucket. They've got to play for a stop here with the two-point lead. No open three. Out left to the wing. Here's Hunter. Missed. Here's Whiteside. Counts. This guy is a beast on the board. And when he gets those second chance points, G.A., he does mm. not waste one of them. And you know what? It's always going to be a powerhouse finish with him. We know that for sure. For the win. Got it! He got it! Just in time. What a shot! I can't believe it. How in the world? Can you end the game on a shot like that? Well, I think I've seen it all now, guys. And nothing's going to top that, I don't think. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. What a show they put out here at home tonight. Tremendous work all the way down to the wire. We were just wondering what would happen next. Major drama. And we saw a good one. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris. Congratulations on the win and for setting your season high in points scored for yourself. Would you say this is the best game you've played this year? Uh, yeah, I think it's up there for sure. I don't think I've had many other games where I've been as effective on the offensive game. Uh, there might have been a few that I've had a good complete game, but this is probably the most best offensive uh, game I've had so far. For sure. It was a pleasure for us to watch. Thank you so much. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, much appreciated. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He had it going on all game long, so when it came down to one shot to win the game, well, it was no surprise that he took it or that it was a game winner. He flat out dominated. I mean, you see the kind of plays he was making all over the court. This is a game, no matter who they put on him, he wasn't going to be denied. His offensive power was in full effect. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us for Shaquille O'Neal.